syndrome is a condition whereby scarring can form on the inside of the womb and this is most commonly due to previous surgical procedures such as the DNC or dilatation and curatage. We tend to do dilatation and curatage, so removing pieces of tissue when we're managing, surgically managing previous miscarriage. But sometimes we can also do procedures in order to try and resolve abnormal uterine bleeding as well. So the symptoms that a woman might present with are typically pain during menstruation if some of the blood gets clogged up inside some of these pockets of adhesions, or there could be problems with conceiving as well because the lining of the womb may be unfavorable to any implantation and also some of the adhesions might prevent implantation itself. If there's lots of scarring, this can also cause a problem in terms of periods. So if there isn't enough blood flow to the womb because of the scarring, it can also mean that some women stop having periods altogether. And this is another sign of Asherman's. Another complication that women might suffer from is miscarriage and this is again due to the scarring that's found in the womb where essential nutrients might not be able to reach the pregnancy and this in itself could potentially induce or give rise to a miscarriage. So how can we go about treating it? Well, the gold standard is to do something called a hysteroscopy, which is a camera test that we pass into the womb. And during the camera test, when we localize and actually visualize the scarring, we're able to use dissecting scissors or instruments to try and remove any of the adhesions and the scarring that's there, which is causing a problem. But we have to be careful that by removing this, we don't induce or form any further adhesions, which can sometimes result from cutting and from buzzing away or diatherming any of the tissue that is there. And this is why some experts or clinicians will elect to put a balloon inside of there or a mechanical device just to try and keep all of the walls of the uterus nice and open to prevent them all from sticking together and from scarring that could form and then potentially give rise to further problems later down the line. Sometimes we can also use hormones to help with this. So if you think you might be affected by this condition, please go and see your doctor who can do some investigations to see and help. A simple investigation that they might be able to do is an ultrasound scan, in particular a 3D ultrasound, which allows them to look inside the cavity of the womb to make sure and see whether they think you might have the condition called Asherman's or significant fibrosis or scarring that might then mean you need to go and see a specialist.